Hi everybody, Nancy here. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to import and use purchase stickers into Zoom Notes. Now, the world in general calls what I'm going to upload stickers, but Zoom Notes calls them symbols. And I have learned just in the last 30 minutes how amazing symbols are. I mean, seriously, symbols are so much more than just simple stickers that you buy from somebody. And I'm going to show you some of it, but I can't show you all of it. It's just so amazing to me. But first of all, I'm going to do what I said I was going to do and show you how to quickly import it. All right, usually when you buy a set of stickers from eBay generally speaking they will include all the gifs that each item is sometimes they'll just give you just a plain old sheet of PDF and there's a way to convert those PDFs to um, stickers very simple that's a different video but I'm going to show you first of all the first thing you want to do symbols is the little smiley face over on the left. Now, if you open up the tools, the symbol is the little smiley face under drawing tools. See, if you select that, then it opens up the, the symbols window, or I have it here, so I just click on that. All right, first thing I wanna do, because I'm importing, I just purchased something and I'm gonna import it into a folder. So I want to create a folder. I hit the plus sign at the bottom. And it asks me, do you want to create an empty symbols folder? Yes. So you click on that. And then you locate it. Um, right now, I have, let me show you. At the top, you can sort by the name or by when it was modified or when it was created. And that puts, when I put it on created, it put it at the very bottom. Okay, so I'm going to open that up by tapping on it. Now it's just sitting there empty. Now I'm going to go to my folder so that I can go to iCloud and find the uh, thing I just purchased. Now normally it would be at the top, but I'm actually, I didn't just purchase anything, so I'm going to show you. See right now I am on downloads, iCloud Drive downloads. Open that up. And I'm going to scroll until I find a zip file that um, has not been opened yet. So that I can show you the full steps. Uh, sorry. I, okay, gnomes. I'm going to do gnomes in winter and just tap on it. And that opens it up, creates a folder. Okay, I go to the folder. And here are all the stickers that came with this purchase. All right. First thing I want to do is click on select. Then over on the left, do select all. And then I'm going to take my pencil, my pen, and see how it lifts it all up. And there's 11. And I'm able to move it around. I'm just going to drag it over to this folder that I created. And bam. There they are. <laughs> so, so easy, so cool, so quick. All right. So now all you have to do is select one and tap. And that's your symbol. And, and you have the option to do it multiple times or a single tap. And I've just chosen to do a single tap. So that's why. Um, and see, it all automatically jumps back to there. But if I click on it again, I can ch change it, sorry, to a gnome. Tap, and there it is. So simple. Okay, now let me just show you some things I just discovered this morning and what makes symbols so crazy cool. Um, let me see. If I go to this folder, I had this set up so that every day I was drawing something, and I... It's a calendar, and every day I put a sub-document to, um, let me see, just pick one. See, I, it's a sub-document that I can click on and open up. 
and then I'm going to close it back down. And okay, so there it is again. It's on the day for September 14th is what I drew. I can click on that. Select it. Sorry, I selected it and then moved my hand and, and there. Okay, go to other and create down at the bottom, create new symbol. Okay, it just created that as a symbol. Now I'm going to go back to, let's, let's just go back to my, this month. And if you notice, or this is my next year calendar, on symbols, close that up. That's the last thing I used. But I created, let me see, I thought I had it sort of, yeah, created. That sub document. Oh, you know what? It put it, sorry, you put it inside this folder. Of course, that's what was open. Now, if I click on it and tap, I just put that sub document into a whole new document. Think of the possibilities. Now, if I double tap on it, it's going to open up just like it did in the other document. How cool is that? <laughs> crazy exciting okay and then you know in a sub document you click on the the little page over on the right and that p opens it back up think of the potential of that everybody that is just so cool to me now another thing another cool thing if i open up the christmas um document that i gave everybody on me we I'm opening this particular one because it is full of links. Every one of these texts opens up a place in the Bible. Okay, so it's full of links. Now, if I, I here's my little layer thing, the new way of looking at layers. Love it. Okay, if I open it up and I unlock all, then I come here and I select. Now, see, it's just selected this right here, and that's okay. That's all I need. Okay, if I select it, hold my finger down, get the pop-up, do other, create new symbol at the bottom, symbols created. Now, I'm just going to do it here. So, if I go here, and there the symbol is at the bottom, and I tap... <laughs> This makes me so giddy. Okay. Um, then get your pointer tool or your pencil or whatever, whatever your writing tool is. And I click on that symbol and there it takes me to it. It links it. So symbols are way more powerful than plain old stickers. And now I understand why he calls them symbols and not stickers. They're not equal. They do the same thing. You can put your little cutesy picture on it. But this is crazy wild. Okay. And I'm sure there's way more that you can do. Well, sure, there are way, way more. You know, that's how you can create a whole new layout in the automatic, um, automatic calendar generator or planner generator. You put symbols together and add calendars. And that, again, that's another whole video. But but this is just some simple little things that you can do. So cool. All right, y'all have a good day here.